guys, uh, it's Drumstick here. Uh, sorry I haven't been updating my YouTube channel much lately. Uh, I've been quite busy with uh, revising homework and I've got exams and stuff coming up soon. So. Um, I did, however, have some time to start on my World War II projects. Uh, this is uh, some terrain to go with my uh, Warlord miniatures and the bolt action. Uh, I went for the Germans. Um, Partially because they've, uh, with their, in the rules with their technology, they've, they get quite a, quite an upper hand. Anyway, um, so far in this building, I've just, I uh, got two panels done. Uh, I've got the uh, chimney section here, the kind of back of the house. Um, that's just been made out of foam core. Um, and then we've got the uh, balsa wood there. Uh, otherwise. I've um, started doing detail on this this uh, piece already, and as you can see, I've got um, bricks in. I used a uh, used a layer of dash clay for that, and that's this stuff. And um, uh, this stuff's fantastic. Uh, thanks to uh, Doug and Miguel uh, and uh, Mac uh, for that. Um, I did in fact do a test piece uh, beforehand with the bricks just to see if it would work and that worked quite nicely um, and then I decided to do smaller bricks so it would fit in with the models better. Anyway the windows I uh, started doing I just gave them a coat of paint um, there's no weathering on them yet. Uh, each brick was done uh, by hand so they're all slightly different colours, uh, which gives it a more realistic um, look further away, as you can see. And um, we've got a shell that's hit just there, um, with cracks going out around it. And this is probably going to be some sort of French cafe, um, with a we've got the sign that will be up here. Uh, otherwise. Uh, I think I'm going to go for a light olive green for the uh, shutters and uh, for the back I'm actually going to do all the interior stuff because we're going to have the first floor here, another floor here which will be the attic and the roof will be coming up that way. Um, I'll give it a, a layer of thin plaster first and smooth that out and then paint a, a kind of ivory yellow uh, to show uh, you know it's been lived in but with uh, bits falling apart uh, which goes right through to the bricks um, on, on that side so. um, otherwise I'll show you the miniatures for for some scale if I just put that back together just down there will it yeah, just right um, so we've got the uh, German German figures there. Um, I've still got about more than half a box to finish, uh, so I hope I'll get them done. Um, actually, I'll get. Um, the miniatures have actually been based on 2P coins, as you can see, um, which gives them uh, a nice bit of weight because. Uh, the models are already metal, in fact. Um, I'll show you. I'll show you one closer up if you want. Uh, and I also got uh, tufts, in fact. So there we go. Should focus. And there. So these are the uh, German airborne Falgermeers or something like that. I don't know how to pronounce it exactly. Oh, I forgot one there. Um, but that's that's pretty much it. Now I do have another panel here. Uh, that's that. That just goes on the other side. And then just right across this side, I'm gonna have a, a low kind of wall, so that they can hide behind. So it's been already blasted off. Um, but I hope to get some more time to. Uh, to finish this building and I shall keep you updated. If you think there is anything else I need to add uh, just comment below 
I was thinking of getting um once this has been once it's got a base, I'll add some uh, lamp posts that I'll get off uh, Tamar Tamarlian, and um, some German site, um which would go quite nicely. Um right, so that's about it, and I shall catch you soon, guys. See ya.